Hi guys, my name is Harike Shrao on Alaki Supermanium and I'm from group 16 and today my group is going to present about chessboard explanation and ending a game. So first off, my teammate Huimin is going to talk about chessboard explanation and basic rules. Today, I would like to present about the chessboard explanation and also the chess rule. At the beginning of the game, the chessboard is laid out so that each player has the white or the light color square in the bottom right hand side. So means that bottom right hand side is the light color or white color. For this glass board, I have the light color for this. So this one is the right bottom side. Next, I will talk about the arrangement of the chessboard. So the second row, always the pawn, whole pawn. So this one also is opponent pawn. After that, the rooks will go into the corner. Then after that, the knight is next to them, followed by the bishop. After that, the queen can place, and also the opponent will get the same column for the queen in opposition, and the remaining square will for the king. Now, I would like to present about how the sex pieces move differently. First is the pawn. Pawn is like unusual because they move and capture in different ways. For example, I can move like forward, but I capture diagonally. And also, for the pawn, the first steps of the pawn can be two or one. Next, I would like to talk about how the rooks move. So it can move forward and also backward and also to the side. And for the next is about the knight. The knight is very special because it can move through the pieces such as this. I can move like L shape. L shape. Just L shape. Okay. And then for the bicep, it's moved diagonally. So if I this, then I can capture the yeah, like this. And also the pawn, like this. This is how the bison move. And for the queen, for the queen is the most powerful in chessboard because it can move like diagonally, forward, backward, to the side. Again, the diagonally like this. So, this is how the queen move. And the last is how the king move is in the square. For example, if my king is here, I can move to this. Oh, sorry. I can move to here, to here, to here, to here. Backward also, diagonal also side also but only each step in the square in the king square i would like to talk about the promotion so what is promotion pawn has other special ability and that is that if a pawn reach the other side of the board so it can become any other chess piece so it called a promotion so example is like my pawn from here to here Three more steps to the next other side of the of the board, right? So it may become other chess pieces such as queen, bishop, rook, and also knight. So last for the special chess rule is a castling. So this move allows you to do two important things all in one move: get your king to safety, and also get your rook. Out of the corner and into the game. So, for this castling, some condition must be met. Is first, it must be the king very first move, and also it must be the rook very first move. Furthermore, there cannot be any pieces between the king and rooks to move. So, if my king is here, my rook is here, so they cannot do the castling because the pieces is between here. But if my rook is here, my king is here, then 
they can move to do the castling. So, and also, the very important is the king must not be in check or pass through the check. Under this condition, it only can be done castling. So this is the rule for the chessboard. It's a special rule for the chessboard. I'll be explaining for opposition. So we have four types of opposition. Uh, we have direct, diagonal, distant, and oblique. So for this example, I'll be showing for direct uh, opposition. So as you can see, this king, this white king is on the same color tiles with the white king. So this is what we call uh, opposition. So we can push our pawn to be queen. So how are we going to achieve that? Is first, we're going to move our pawn to e3. So the black king will move. And so we move our king to d5. And then we move our king uh, to e5 again. And next we move it to we move it forward to f6. So the king the black king will try to eat the pawn. So we start to push our pawn closer to the king so that it cannot eat our pawn. So when it's at e5, the so you can see that the black king tries to uh, protect the tiles so that the pawn cannot becoming a queen. So how to break this is first we're going to move the king to e6 and then we move we push the king forward to f7. So uh, we're going to push our pawn because now the king cannot eat the pawn because uh, it's, it's, not, it's going to be eaten again by the king. So now we just push our pawn to be the queen. So, so starting from here, we just have to get the checkmate. So uh, now the king has nowhere to run. Uh, so uh, now we just have to checkmate it by moving the queen to b5. So it's a checkmate. So in this video, we will be discussing about the rook ending. Rook ending is a strategy to be used when you are left with your king, pawn and your rook while the opposition is left with his king and his rook. So this rook ending main strategy is using the Lucena's position. So what is Lucena's position? Lucena's position is all about building a bridge. Okay, wait, what does building a bridge helps you here, right? I'll be explaining that in a moment. So the main strategy of this Lucena's position is to help your pawn to be queen by using your king and your rook. So how does this get into play? So let's get into this. So as you hear, we will use this or uh, assume this as the white piece and we will assume this as the black piece. So at this situation, what happens is that white, white, uh, it is white's turn to move and you are left with your king, your pawn and your rook. So your pawn is, it is impossible to move and it is also the same case for your king as you can't even move here, it is checked by the opponent's rook and you can also move here. So what you do, the only reasonable thing to do is to check the opponent's king. So now what he can do is just run away by either going this side or this side. He would love to go here, but it is not an advisable move for him as, as he moves here, we can open up the space for the pawn to be queened. So what he does is that he just moves away. So most of us at this position will be think, yay, mission accomplished. And what they do is just move their king away. But what happens when you move the king away? The opponent's rook will come checking you. He will be constantly checking you throughout. So what you do is that you now move your rook. Your rook should be placed at the fourth rank. This is the most vital move here. And I'll be showing you later. 
This is because like when you move place your rook at the fifth rank, it is just too close to the opponent's king. So what you do is just place it on the fourth rank. So now it is just a waiting game because there is nothing. Uh, you are not actually attacking the opponent. So what the opponent does is the waiting move. Just let's say he just moves like this. So now what you do is just open up your king. As he comes here and you can guess the next move, right? He's gonna check you here. And all you do is just avoid and he's gonna check you here. Avoid and he's gonna check you here. Now what you're gonna do is just move diagonally. As you move right, he's gonna check you again. But now, this is why we left it in the fourth rank. We just move the rook in between the opponent's rook and our king. So this is what we call as the bridge. As uh, as you remember, we told about right. The, uh, Lucina's position is all about building a bridge. This is actually the bridge. What does bridge means is that if the opponent tries to take away your rook, you can take away his rook, and it is obviously the opponent's move to come and attack your pawn. However, it's just too far, and you can easily queen your pawn. And from here on, it is just an easy move for us to win by because we are having our king and his queen and the opponent is just having his queen so this is all about the rook ending and the lucina's position guys thank you hello so i will demonstrate to all of you how can we use the queen's ending so what is queen's ending basically you want to checkmate your opponent king when you have a queen and a king left, this, this is the end phase, end game phase of your chess game. So, if you are in this position, you are supposed to win. So, by doing a right full move, by knowing uh, each step that you need to take to checkmate the black king, you will always win this game. So, that's without further ado, let's do this. So, your first objective is to suffocate the, the opponent's king's movement by moving one rank forward at a time and when you see your opponent's king move one rank backward it is a green signal for you to move forward to attack the king's movement capabilities right so sometimes the king will move forward just to threaten your queen but it will not work as long as have your, you can have your king to support your queen, right? In this situation, the computer, the level A computer decided to move one, uh, to move backwards. So, the computer moved the king's backward, one ranks backward again. Like I said, move your, your queen's forward. Now, as you can see, the king can only move in this rank. To suffocate the king's movement again. Now, as you can see, the king can only move in this one, two, three tiles. He cannot move in this rank. He cannot move starting from this E files. So, you want to place your queen in a certain in a certain tile. And where is it? You want to place your queen in this position. <laughs> This is where you want your king to be in. Once your king is there, all you need to do is bring a queen right in the middle of them. Now this, now you already win the game by checkmating the black king. So this is how you should do your queen's end. Thank you and love. Everyone, I'm Lee Jong Si from Group 16, and now I'll be screen sharing the bot editor from D Chess. Okay. And now I'll play with the computer, which is a level 8, and play as white side. Usually, the side with two, two pawns will be winning, because she got two potential queen. And our objective is to attack the black pawn and also protect our two white pawn to be being promoted from the queen, to, to promote to the queen. And now. So I move this pawn one step forward and because this pawn will be being protected by this another pawn. So now I have to try attacking the black pawn. Of course, the black king will also try to protect his black pawn. 
So to attack the black pawn, we have to be at the same row with the black pawn. Okay, because the black king is in this position, we have to make it move away from this position so that we can go to the same row with the black pawn. And now we are at the same row with the black pawn. So it's it's very now it's our it's very easy to attack the black pawn. But the black king will also try his best to protect the black pawn also. Okay, now we are one step, only one, one more step to, to attack the black pawn. But the black king is protecting the black pawn right now. So we have to opposition with the with the black king. Okay. Our first objective, attack the black pawn, has reached. So right now, we have to protect our two black pawn to being promoted to the queen. Okay. You have to one step, one step. You have to protect these two pawns. The, the, the pawn at the behind is very hard to be attacked by the black king because it's very far away from, with, from, from the black king. Okay. Now we got one white queen, so it's very easy to win really. But we have to be very careful about one thing is black king will be very easy to be still made. So we have to be very careful about the still made. So right now we have to limit his, his moving moving space first. Okay. Now we can try to check my name. Okay, and this is the checkmate. So it's a very easy move. And that's everything from my part. Thank you very much.